Hello students. I am about to show you the lab that we tried to do on Tuesday or Wednesday, the lab that um, involved the ramps. And um, we had to set it up this way because it was really confusing and we didn't have enough weight. So um, for the purposes of this lab, I'm going to show you everything that you need. First of all, you need your safety goggles, which I will put on here momentarily. And you'll need to wear these the entire time. You're going to need something to measure with. Um, I didn't have a meter stick, so I'm using a tape measure that has metric measurements on it. You're going to need a weight. Um, we've got to have our spring scale. We need a calculator to do our calculations. And then we have um, a board that measures 0.6 meters. Um, that's one ramp. And then the second ramp measures um, one meter. Exactly. So, um, first of all, putting on my goggles so we're safe at all times. Only piece of safety equipment that you need. And the first thing that I'm going to do is take our spring scale and I'm going to lift this up. Um, half a meter. Um, we've already measured the coffee table. The coffee table is actually half a meter. So I'm going to lift it up. And as I'm lifting this up, I notice that this is um, eight meters, I'm sorry, eight newtons of force. Okay, so that's where we start. We have eight newtons of force at half a meter. So now I'm going to set up the first ramp, which is 0.64 meters. And in order to reduce friction, which caused um, variations in the math, we coated this with wax paper. <clears throat> um, otherwise, we would have had math, um, we would have had numbers that are off. So um, I'm going to drag this at an angle up the ramp. And as I move this up the ramp, I am seeing that it is at, let's see, it is at 6.25 newtons. Okay, so that's the second one. Finally, I'm going to take this ramp, which is a meter long, and I'm going to make sure it's like, yeah, that's the right way. And I'm going to take this and start here and drag this up, whoops, up the ramp to show the amount of force. And the amount of force here is about four newtons. So now we can stop there. Now, what I want to do is bring the camera here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to show the amount of work that needs to be done. So that's our table. That is our data. So now that we have our data, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this. And right here I'm going to put in this column, work. And we know that we're just multiply um, distance times force. So when I do that, let me make sure this is on. I'm going to take 0.5 times 8, which gives us 4 newton meters or 4 joules. Next, I'm going to take 0.64 meters times 6. 0.25 newtons. That also equals 4 newton meters. And finally, this is pretty simple. Um, 1 times 4, we know is 4, but just for the sake of doing it on a calculator, 1 times 4 is 4 newton meters. So, the point of this lab is to show that the length of the ramp affects the amount of force, but it does not affect the amount of work. We're still doing the same amount of work. We have our shortest ramp with our greatest force, our medium ramp here, our middle ramp with the medium force, and our longest ramp with less the, the least amount of force, and it all adds up to four joules. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this lap. And um, I took my safety goggles off, but remember, we were supposed to be wearing them the whole time. And we will see you next lap. Thanks.